Okay, well today I'm just going to show you how to do uh, trailing around a leaf. We're using eye relief texture, using a very fine brush and trailing it round to create a nice decorative edge. It does tend to shrink when it's fired, but using a very fine brush you can get really quite a good narrow edge. So we'll start off by mixing eye relief with drying water based medium to a sort of toothpaste um, texture and then it can always be let down a little bit if necessary. So uh, a good idea actually also is you can tint it because if you're working on porcelain very often the eye relief looks the same colour and it's sometimes hard to see it so a little tiny touch of colour and allows you to be able to uh, see why it is better. Depends what you're doing really. But for this instance we'll leave it plain. This is a luster leaf we've got so um, if we put a bit of a dainty edge around it which when it's gilded looks quite sparkly. And you fired that Jackie, could you do that before it was fired? Yes. And I do, and this is where you've got to allow for a little bit of shrinkage. You can sometimes get a slight mark where it's actually touched the lustre. It does no harm, but more often than not, the gold covers up uh, any tiny mark uh, left next to it. So I, I normally do, actually, because it cuts the firing out. We're getting there. If you mix it too slack, it's going to spread and give you a wide line instead of a nice, dainty, uh, fine line which, if you like a, a broader line, that's fine. Broader brush, uh, it's best to experiment and see what works out best for what you want. But in this instance, we're going to use a very, very dainty fine brush. Right, that's getting there. Okay, we'll test it out. That's gone. A nice, look, you can hear it gritty, textured, and that's mixed, I would say, ready to go. May need a drop more too. Loosen it slightly, but we'll give it a tiny, tiny drop more. I'll just put it there so that it doesn't flood it too much. That should be about okay. It's got a slight glaze, but not glossy. Otherwise, it's got too much medium in it, and it will just spread on you. So let's give it a whirl, and I'll test it out on here. Put that down, and the brush I'm going to use is really very fine. I think it's possibly a six naught. It's not got it on. Also, I've got a multi-tool, which is quite handy, fine brush. Um, and you can see just how fine it is. If I put it against the white, you can see how fine it is. The finer it is, the more neat the line and the less it will spread. That's why I use this, that's a slightly longer. Very similar, but they're great for this kind of thing. Um, we'll go for this one and I would put a little bit of medium possibly on there like that and just do that to make it stick because otherwise it won't stick. Take that off so it's, and wiggle the brush into it to pick it up and we're looking for like a bit of a tadpole shape which is, that's getting there. And if you undulate the brush, it should leave it on, hopefully in the right place. So, let's give it a whirl. Right, okay. I'll start off, I think, with a stem down the centre of the leaf. And let's give that a wiggle and see. That's about right. So, we've got a little tadpole sort of shape, which allows me a little end to lay on. So, if I was coming down the centre of a leaf... I would lay it on without pressing too hard and I want to draw it off the brush by undulating the brush slightly. Pick up some more, do the same again and overlay it. And don't worry if you make a mistake, you can do a little bit of tidying up if necessary. Afterwards, there's another one. Overlay again where it's gone a little bit narrow and undulate the brush until, actually if we get a longer, doesn't want to do it. That's got it. That's got a nice one. Until we've gone more or less, maybe not all the way down the leaf, we could trail it off 
so that it sort of disappears off a little bit, maybe like that. And as you can see, it's got a little blip there, so maybe a tiny bit of fiddling about. Take that off, and if necessary, normally I would have a dish with some water in. And if you've made a mistake, I have a little squirrel brush, which I would damp in the water, dry it, and that would just push it into shape a little bit and regulate it a little more if you were not happy with some of the bits, which is not too bad for the centre of a leaf. So let's do some more sort of rougher. There we go. And wiggle the brush again, apart from getting it all over my fingers. And trail it in like that. And again. And maybe stagger it so it doesn't look too regimented. And it's perhaps best not to go right to the end. It looks uh, a lot nicer if you can just trail it off. Let's have one on there. A little bit more. You need to wiggle the brush in, and every now and again you might need to get your palette knife. That's a good one. That's got it. And trail it off to nothing gently. And we've got a gap there, so turn it round if necessary, and just tack it on like that until you feel happy with it. Now, every now and again, I would actually give that another mix to bring it up to a nice peak like that. And then press that off, take off any uh, eye relief that would be drying off a little and do that again. And we can get perhaps another one into there. Plus, if you want extra, you can actually get a few. Now that's gone what I call rubbish. So therefore, you might have to play about with that one. And this is where the brush comes in deliberate mistake and tidy it up just a little bit. There we go. And afterwards I would make sure that there was no trails or touches left that might cause a dull area where I didn't want one. So that's okay on there. Put that on there and away we go again. Now the brush is clean so it's hard to get in again so you have to wiggle it into the mix until it will literally pull it off again. So let's just do maybe another piece there. Bring it round and just touch it on. There we go. And you can carry on like that, putting on as much as you like. Also, you might want it to go perhaps further down into there because it's too narrow. So we can sort of choose to take it off to one side, which the the light's shining on it. There we go. And again, I would tidy that bit up. You can go right round the leaf if you want to, if you've got the patience for it. If you don't want to, you could just gild that. Or maybe, let's do a little bit just here and there. And just choose some areas to do where it could enhance. And then trail it off to nothing. And then just do gold round the rest. All depends on what you want to do. So we'll do that bit there and there. And maybe a bit of distressing here and there where perhaps you might get a burnt touch or a hole in the leaf. Just end up wiggling it about like that until it's caused what I call a distressed. And you can push that into shape, turn it round, do that, and maybe add a little tiny touch more just to take it round on there so that you don't overdo it. Uh, maybe two or three points, perhaps around here, might look without actually going mad. If you want the whole leaf done, which I very often do, then go for it. But this just shows you how to do some smaller areas. Let's turn that round towards me. Wiggle. Get a nice trail. Oh, that's a good one. I'm going to go for that one. And that's how to create a little decorative edge of eye relief texture onto a leaf, okay? <laughs>